Baldface by Jack London The Klondike King paused meditatively, and the group on the hotel porch hitched their chairs up closer. Talking of bear, he went on, now up in the northern country there are various kinds. On the little pelly, for instance, they come down that thick in the summer to feed on the salmon that you can't get an Indian or white man to go nigher than a day's journey to the place. And up in the Rampart Mountains there's a curious kind of bear called the Sidehill Grizzly. That's because he's travelled on the Sidehills ever since the flood, and the two legs on the downhill side are twice as long as the two on the uphill. And he can outrun a jackrabbit when he gets steam up. Dangerous. Catch you. Bless you, no. All a man has to do is to circle down the hill and run the other way. You see, that throws Mr. Bear's long legs up the hill and the short ones down. Yes, he's a mighty peculiar creature, but that wasn't what I started in to tell about. They've got another kind of bear up on the Yukon, and his legs are all right, too. He's called the bald face grizzly, and he's just as big as he is bad. It's only the four white men that think of hunting him. Indians got too much sense. But there's one thing about the bald face that a man has to learn, he never gives the trail to mortal creature. If you see him coming, and you value your skin, you get out of his path. If you don't, there's bound to be trouble. If the bald face met Jehovah himself on the trail, he'd not give him an inch. Oh, he's a selfish beggar, take my word for it. But I had to learn all this. Didn't know anything about bear when I went into the country, except in when I was a youngster I'd seen a heap of cinnamons and that little black kind. And there was nothing to be scared at. Well, after we'd got settled down on our claim, I went up on the hill looking for a likely piece of birch to make an axe handle out of. But it was pretty hard to find the right kind, and I kept a going and kept a going for nigh on two hours. Wasn't in no hurry to make my choice, you see, for I was heading down to the forks, where I was going to borrow a log bit from old Joe G. When I started, I'd put a couple of sourdough biscuits and some sour belly in my pocket in case I might get hungry. And I'm telling you that lunch came in right handy before I was done with it. Bambi I hit upon the likeliest little birch sapling, right in the middle of a clump of jack pine. Just as I raised my hand axe I happened to cast my eyes down the hill. There was a big bear coming up, swinging along on all fours, right in my direction. It was a bald face, but little I knew then about such kind. Just watch me scare him, I says to myself, and I stayed out of sight in the trees. Well, I waited till he was about a hundred feet off, then out I runs into the open. Oh, oh, F. Oh, oh, F. I hollered at him, expecting to see him turn tail like chain lightning. Turn tail? He just throwed up his head for one good look and came a-coming. Oh, oh, F. Oh, oh, F. I hollered, louder than ever. But he just came a-coming. Concern you. I says to myself, get in mad. I'll make you jump the trail. So I grabs my hat, and wave in, and hollerin starts down the trail to meet him. A big sugar pine had gone down in a windfall and lay about breast high. I stops just behind it, old bald face coming all the time. It was just then that fear came to me. I yelled like a Comanche Indian as he raised up to come over the log, and fired my hat full in his face. Then I lit out. Say. I rounded the end of that log and put down the hill at a 220 clip, old bald face rear chin for me at every jump. At the bottom was a broad, open flat, quarter of a mile to timber and full of niggerheads. I knew if ever I slipped I was a goner, but I hit only the high places till you couldn't a seen my trail for smoke. And the old devil snorting along hot after me. Midway across, he reached for me, just striking the heel of my moccasin with his claw. Tell you I was doing some tall thinking just then. I knew he had the wind of me and I could never make the brush so I pulled my little lunch out of my pocket and dropped it on the fly. Never looked back till I hit the timber, and then he was mouthing the biscuits in a way which wasn't nice to see, considering how close he'd been to me. I never slacked up. 
No, sir. Jest kept hit in the trail for all there was in me. But just as I came around a bend, healing it right lively I tell you, what did I see in middle of the trail before me, and coming my way, but another bald face. Woof, he says when he spotted me, and he came a running. Instanta I was about and hit in the back trail twice as fast as I'd come. The way this one was puffing after me, I'd clean forgot all about the other bald face. First thing I knew I seen him moseying along kind of easy, wondering most likely what had become of me, and if I tasted as good as my lunch. Say. When he seen me he looked real pleased. And then he came a jump in for me. Woof, he says. Woof, says the one behind me. Bang I goes, slap off the trail sideways, a plunge in and a claw in through the brush like a wild man. By this time I was clean crazed, thought the whole country was full of bald faces. Next thing I knows wop, I comes up against something in a tangle of wild blackberry bushes. Then that something hits me a slap and closes in on me. Another bald face. And then and there I knew I was gone for sure. But I made up to die game, and of all the ramping and roaring and ripping and tearing you ever see, that was the worst. My God. Oh my wife, it says. And I looked and it was a man I was hammering into kingdom come. Thought you was a bear, says I. He kind of caught his breath and looked at me. Then he says, same here. Seemed as though he'd been chased by a bald face, too, and had hid in the blackberries. So that's how we mistook each other. But by that time the racket on the trail was something terrible and we didn't wait to explain matters. That afternoon we got Joe G and some rifles and came back loaded for bear. Meb you won't believe me, but when we got to the spot, there was the two bald faces lying dead. You see, when I jumped out, they came together, and each refused to give trail to the other. So they fought it out. Talking of bear. As I was saying. 